Well, a lot's come full circle for Marcus Mann recently. Now, 20 years ago, Mann was drafted by the Golden State Warriors, and on the eve of his rookie season, he made the decision to turn down the NBA to follow a higher calling. A decision to walk away from more than $200,000 to come back home to Mississippi and join the ministry. It's a career choice Mann stands by to this day, as his love for basketball has reemerged alongside his strong faith. It wasn't a popular decision, but you know, it was something that uh, I felt led in my heart to do, and, and so I just followed through with it. Since saying goodbye to the NBA the day before his career ever began, the former Valley State star has spent the last two decades nurturing lives across Mississippi, including the last three as a pastor in his hometown of Carthage. I'm preaching right here. Nothing happens in this world without God's permission. And when the what-ifs have naturally crept in, he's put at ease by recalling all the people he's inspired along the way. We walk in Walmart, and a guy walk up and say, uh, Mr. Man, Mr. Man, do you remember when you said this and said that? Somebody had a hard week, a long week. But God, we thank you that we made it to the sanctuary. You know, it gives you that sense of joy in your heart that, hey, I did impact somebody's life. But now competitive basketball is back in his life. And when his story inevitably resurfaces, it's followed by a much different reaction. Now it's more like a, a wild moment, especially with my daughter. Maya, a lot of her friends, they were like, your dad played in the NBA. Man can now be found in the stands at every Brandon High game. With his only daughter, Maya, playing her first full varsity season, that spark has returned. She started out playing soccer. Uh, but then one day she was like, Dad, I think I want to play basketball. And I started smiling with them. I was like, OK, here we go. It's brought me back to that love that I had for the, for the game. He always supports me. Um, any game I have, he's always there. So basketball kind of, you know, makes us close. And that's really what we like to do is just watch, watch and talk about basketball. College and potentially beyond, the father-daughter duo has high hopes for where basketball may take Maya. In the meantime, he'll continue to reap the greater benefits of what the game could never provide. No matter what people may think, no matter what people may say, uh, I'm confident in where I am. I'm happy in where I am. At this point in my life, I'm where I'm supposed to be. fun story to report on. I and love that story. An awesome Beautiful. journey for him. Yeah. Mm. Loved it. How about that?